Hello students, today's agenda is to check your homework. Uh, we'll be learning about functions of functions and you will be able to do 7.8 and it says today students will be able to find functions of functions. Uh, better known as fog and go. Okay, so we're going to start with a small warm-up. And so it says a box has two crates of oranges. Each crate has 20 oranges. Each orange is worth 50 cents. How much are three boxes worth? So in, at this moment, I would like for you to pause the video and try it on your own um, so that you can see or figure out how much will you pay for three boxes, okay? And so, Hopefully you already paused it and sold it. So it says that you have a box. Then you have two crates. And each crate has 20 oranges. So that's a total in each box. That's a total of 40 oranges. But then it says that each orange costs 50 cents. So you're going to multiply the 40 times the 50 cents, and that's going to be equal to $20. But then it says, how much are three boxes worth? So if this is the what you're going to pay for one box, then for three boxes is going to be $60. Okay, so that's our warm up. Okay, so the next one says, imagine that you order two boxes of apples and three extra apples. How would you write that? Okay, think about it. So it's gonna be two boxes of apples. Remember that the two represents the two boxes and the X represents the number of apples per box. And the three extra apples then plus three loose ones. Okay, then it says each apple also costs five pesos. So the each apple costs five pesos. So that means that my apples cost five pesos and you pay an extra peso for the order. Plus one peso. Then it says find a formula that finds the amount you pay for your apples. So I'm gonna call this G of X and this f of x, and I'm gonna ask you, what does this represent? We said that the x represents the apples in each box, and these are loose, loose apples, so these are all the apples that you order, okay? So x is equals to number of apples, Per box and g of x meaning g of x is all of this represents the total number of apples I order okay for the next one it says each apple co also costs five pesos and you pay an extra peso for the order so if this is the five pe pesos for the apples plus one peso for the order, what is this? And what is this? Okay, so X is the number of apples that I order, and F of X represents 
So this is the five dollars that I will pay for uh, five dollars, five pesos for each apple and one dollar for the order. It means that the total is that what I'm going to be paying. So total cost. Now it says find a formula that finds the amount you paid for your apples. So let's say that this is kind of like, um, this is the formula that the company that delivers apples uses to charge, right? However many apples a person buys, multiply by the five pesos each apple cost plus one dollar for the order. And these, let's say that this is my order because I'm ordering two boxes of apples. So these are the total apples that I'm going to buy. So guess what? The company will multiply five pesos by all the apples that I order. So basically, this represents all the apples that I order, which is 2x plus 3. So I'm going to insert this in here. And that is called... Um, or the formula will be f of g of x. So what I pay, my total cost, will be the formula applied to my order. This is my order, right? The order. And I, I will pay um, using this formula for the order that I have. So that's what this represents. I'm gonna insert my order in there, representing the apples I order. So, and I'm gonna pay five pesos for each apple that I order, meaning the ones that I have in the box, in the two boxes and the three that I have loose, plus one dollar for the order, okay? So this will be my equation my formula uh, to be able to find out how much I will pay. Now, this is not simplified. You can continue to simplify it because you can do distributive property, which is equals to five times two X is 10 X, five times three is 15, and the $1 for the order. This is 10 X plus 16, and so basically that's how I'm going to figure out how much I will pay for my order. Okay. Um, so if you have F of G of X, basically means insert the formula of this one into the X of the F of X. Okay, g of x is this, it's inside of the parentheses, that means that it's, that's going to be inside of the other formula, the formula for f of x. Okay, this is inside of this one, basically. Okay, let me show you another one. So in here... Uh, we're not relating it to um, uh, real world, but just they are giving me the f of x and g of x, and I'm going to have to find f of g of x. Now, let me tell you that this has another type of notation, which means exactly the same thing, and it's called fog. It's exactly the same thing. This little um, small circle, it... It works as if it was the parentheses in here, okay? Instead of this parentheses, they just replace it with a little O in there. And it's called fog of X. So, I'm going to put number one in here. And number one says F of G of X. It means that the G of X is going to go inside. This is like a gift that you're going to put in the present, okay? Outside is the wrapping, inside is the gift, okay? So inside is G of X, meaning this is my gift that I'm going to put inside of the wrapping. So I'm going to insert it in here, okay? And so I'm going to have, so F 
of g of x is equals to 2. Instead of x, I'm going to put the 4 minus x plus 3. I simplify, and so it's going to be distributive property. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times negative x is negative 2x. And bring down the 3. We combine like terms. And so we get negative 2x. A plus 3 is 11, so negative 2x plus 11. Or some people write it the other way around. They do A plus 3 is 11 minus 2x. It's exactly the same thing, okay? So take a minute to write that down. Maybe pause the video if you feel that uh, you need more time. Okay, so now let's do the next one again. Fog of x. Now when we have g of f of x is similar to g, I mean, golf of x. Okay, again, they're using this instead of the parentheses, but it's exactly the same. You're inputting this into this function. That's why it says functions of functions, okay? Okay, so number two is g of f of x. So this is the present, and I'm going to, let me use a different color. I'm going to use now, this is the present, and I'm going to insert it in the wrapping right there, okay? So basically, this is the one I'm going to use as my main, but replacing x with f of x, okay? So it's going to be 4 minus, again, because g, so this is the one I'm using, minus, and I'm going to put x, but instead of x, I put 2x plus 3. Remember that the only variable that is being replaced is your x. And so this is equals to, um, in here we have to be very careful. We want to do distributive property, but some people get confused and they think that they have to distribute 4. But in here, what we're distributing is the imaginary negative 1, okay? So it's going to be, we bring down the 4, negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. We combine like terms, and so we get negative 2x, which is this one, and 4 minus 3 is 1. Or they might write it as 1 minus 2x. Either one is correct, okay? It can be this or it can be this. Um, you might want to write this again or you can just leave it like that. That's fine. So you would say golf of x is equals to negative 2x plus 1, okay? So that's how you solve or actually simplify functions of functions. Fog of x and golf of x. Okay, let's do one more, but this is now. So we have here the same formulas, the same functions. But now it says g of 2. We're going to replace, but with a number. And so basically, what this means is simplify this first, because now we have a value for x. And then the answer that you get you replace this and find it for x. Okay, you will see, it will make more sense when, when I do the. So I'm gonna do the first one in pink. So it says, simplify g of two. So find g of two. So g of x, it's not gonna be g of x anymore, it's, gonna, it's going to be g of two equals four minus you know what? I want to change this. Um, let's make it 3. Sorry about that. So g of 3. And the reason is because I tried it before and it, it comes out to be too many 2s. 
uh, which is going to be coinc coincidence and I don't want you to get confused between which two are we using okay so g of 3 sorry about that um, and so we have equals to 4 minus instead of x is going to be 3 and so g of 3 is equals to 1 now we have the value for this so we can replace it in here so we're going to say f of instead of g of 3 we know what g of 3 is so we're going to put f of 1 okay f of g of 3 g of 3 is 1 so we replace that and so f of 1 is equal to 2 times the value of x we're replacing by 1 plus 3 and so 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 and so f of 1 is 5 so f of 1 is 5 but that one came from g of 3 which is this so basically we can say that f of g of 3 is equals to 5 okay after after we solve this part and this part it came out to be 5 and remember that this is the same thing as saying fog of x hold on fog of 3 is equals to 5 Mm -hmm. So in, we're putting the F instead of parentheses, the, the tiny O and the G and the 3. Okay, it's not X, it's 3. So fog of, uh, fog of 3 equals 5. Okay, let's do the second one. So again, it says find G of F of 2. But first, to be able to do that, we have to figure out this part first. So we're going to do f of 2, right? f of 2 is equals to 2 times 2 plus 3. And 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3. And that gives me 7. So this part is 7. So now I'm going to replace that part g of f of 2 but we know that f of 2 is 7 so I'm going to replace the 7 here g of 7 equals I go to my function of g g of 7 equals 4 minus x is 7 and so if I have 4 and take away 3 I'm going to put in here 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 Oh, I start at 4. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so I have 4, and I subtract 7. So that means that I end up with negative 3. Okay, so g of 7 is equals to negative 3, but that comes from doing all first f of 2, so we can say that g of f sorry g of f of 2 is equals to negative 3 or we can also say golf of golf of 2 is equals to negative 3 okay so either one both are the same okay so that's it for today's lesson uh, with this explanation, I hope you can do um, 7.8 and have fun.